The world is recovering from a hangover of sorts. On Friday, world financial markets fell as a result of what could be the most public divorce in history. The UK's vote to leave the European Union, global stock markets lost about 20 or rather 2 trillion dollars in value on Friday, while the British pound suffered a record 31-year low. Joining me now to talk about what it all means is Rick Newman. He is with Yahoo, and he is the finance columnist there. Rick, thanks so much. So we saw this major market drop on Friday. I know everyone's asking themselves over the weekend, what's going to happen Monday? <laughs> so what is going to happen Monday? Well, of course, nobody knows. That's a usual caveat. Mm -hmm. But I think it's likely that we're going to have rocky markets for a couple of weeks. Um, there's a lot to sort out here, uh, the ramifications of this. Um, nobody expected it. We know that. And now we have to figure out what does it mean. So uh, uh, Friday was a day when we sort of digested the first part of the news, and I think markets are going to be figuring out the implications for the next few trading days at least. Um, uh, you know, trading experts say this will settle down, and when there have been shocks like this in the past, uh, quite often the market settles down and then actually comes back, and it, it might even get back to a break-even point. But this is a new factor markets are going to have to be considering for the foreseeable future. Um, a lot of things are going to change. We don't know exactly what they are, and we're going to have more volatility as a result of that. So you don't think that this was necessarily a knee-jerk reaction that happened on Friday? It's po it was an emotional reaction, so you could, it's, it's possible that the markets overshot uh, by going down as much as they did. And, it, you know, it's worth pointing out, some markets didn't go down that much. We lost a little over 3 percent here in the United States. In uh, Japan, the market was down 8 percent. I think the Spanish uh, market was down 12 percent. Uh, Spain is going through an election today, um, and we'll know the results of that by uh, the t start of trading tomorrow. That could actually be a little bit of a reinforcement for staying, Spain staying in the European Union. Mm. And maybe, I mean, the separatist party there, even they are saying, hey, we don't actually want to leave the European Union. Yeah. We just want a little bit, we just want things to be a little different here. So these are all the factors everybody has to figure out. I mean, mm. um, how important are these sort of third and fourth uh, uh, political parties in different European countries. I mean, you know, it's something the markets have not been paying much attention to. Now they have to. Does this, though, mean that we might be entering another global recession? Do we need to be, to be worried about that? Not yet. Um, we, you know, we do have a global, uh, a slow uh, growing global economy, and that is a bummer. I mean, that's part of, that partly explains what's going on here is uh, the, the economy in most parts of the developed world is growing slowly. Not enough people feel they're participating in prosperity. And that is, that's happening here in the United States. It explains the phenomenon of Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders to a large extent. It's happening in Europe. Um, but that doesn't mean that the global economy is necessarily going to start going backward. Now, we definitely need to be paying close attention to this. Uh, are, are we going to have any more shocks? It's certainly possible. We've uh, seen uh, some turmoil in the Chinese financial markets. Uh, if that were to flare up again, then you might be more concerned. Um, for the time being, uh, we have the same slow-growing economy I think we had before this. So regarding investors here in the U.S., what, what do we need to be on the lookout for? Or on the lookout for? I mean, we've got 401ks to right. talk about. We've got mortgage rates right. as well, and just the value of the dollar. Yep. What, what are some, some key signs that so we what need to be looking So what it looks like is likely to happen. I mean, when something like this happens, every ordinary investor says, should I take my money out? And almost always the answer is no. Don't do anything emotional. Don't do that knee-jerk reaction because mm -hmm. if you take your money out when things go down, then you're not there when things come back. So, and you shouldn't be invested in a way that depends on what happens yesterday or tomorrow anyway. So there could be a recovery in financial markets. Nobody thinks financial markets are going to take off. Um, profits have been kind of depressed, and they're not likely to get that much better. But the other repercussions here are the dollar will get stronger. That means interest rates will probably go down. So mm. if you didn't get a chance to refinance your mortgage, the last time rates were around 3.5 percent, perhaps even lower, you might get another chance at that. Wow. It means if you're a first-time buyer, and um, you know you've been thinking when is it the right time to get into the market uh, you know a 3.5 percent mortgage if you can find it is a, just a terrific deal and five or ten years from now you're going to be grateful you did that because oh goodness, no one yeah. gets money that cheap um, and uh, we're going to this will keep inflation down because import are going to get a little bit cheaper oil and gasoline prices will probably drift down a little bit and if you have the gumption to go to Europe a strong dollar means um, it, things are going to be cheaper over there yeah, maybe take that trip you've been waiting to take. If everything's in order, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Things are a little rocky in Europe, yeah. so be, be prepared yes. for, you know, some rumblings in the street. But, uh, you know, it still probably is a good time to go to Europe.
Yahoo's finance columnist Rick Newman. We'll buckle our seat belts and just kind of wait this out then. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. Take some Dramamine. All right, will do. <laughs> will do. Got that on my list. Thanks, Rick. Sure.